Hey there! So today I am going to be showing you how to make a sliding barn door. Um, I have my handy dandy husband helping me out today and so we are going to make a barn door for our house but we are doing it over here at the R&B Design Flip House. The barn door that we're going to be making is 94 inches long. I don't have the exact width for you yet, but the reason it is such a tall door is because over at our house, um, we converted our garage into a game room. So whenever you step in from the game room into the house, you have to step up just a little bit. So 94 inches tall. We're gonna square it up. You wanna you wanna square something up by going corner to corner. You know you can you can have it laid out this way and not be square because the boards could be measured exactly the same but not be perfectly square. So we're gonna do that by measuring corner to corner. But we're gonna glue our side boards on first. All right, so we've gotten the frame of the door assembled here. And um, next we are going to put this middle piece in and then work on the, uh, <laughs> trying to do this backwards, work on the arrow. We're not doing an X, we're doing like an arrow. Here's the back. Which way are we going? And 
in here. Goodness, that is amazing. That's really tall. Okay, so like I told you before, we are in the R&B design flip house that we're currently working on. And we're gonna be building a barn door to go right here, but this is not the barn door that's going there. This one is going in our house. Um, but we're gonna just kinda play around with it here and just, show you what it looks like in place. Wow, that's gonna look so good. The one that'll go there will obviously be a little shorter, but you get the idea. We've moved the um, barn door out into the garage and now then I'm just gonna sand it and take off all the rough edges that um, we might like bump into or um, hit up against whenever we're opening and closing it. And then I'm just gonna also be sanding over all the screw holes. I'm gonna take all the roughness off and then it'll be ready to stain, which I don't know if I'm gonna do that here or over at my house. So we'll just have to to go with white stain. I have never used white stain before, but I think it's gonna look really good because I have that farmhouse look going in my house and I have a lot of white trim and a lot of other whites, so white stain it is. So I got that first coat of white stain on and I am really not sure how I feel about it. I don't even know what to expect. So I'm about to wipe it off because it's a wiping stain. Wipe it off and see how it looks. It's been like 15 minutes. So we got our door home and now then we're going to be cutting a groove down the bottom here, all the way down the bottom to be able to put a door track type thing on the floor that keeps the barn door from moving. I don't think I described that right, but keeps it on track. Keeps it on track. Okay. Guess what time it is? Door time! <laughs> 